Hi, welcome to Angie B's house, and as you can see, it's time for another grocery haul. So I thought I would just go over and let you guys know what I spent today. Okay, got in a little closer here for you. Let me preface this haul by saying that some of it is stuff that we knew we wouldn't have enough to get through the month, but part of it's also because my son moved in, so we needed to go ahead and get a few extra things as well because of that. So, uh, first of all, to start off, I spent at Kroger $189.05 and then at Family Dollar, I just got two items there and you'll see those in a minute. I spent $8.61. But now that $8.61 actually came out of the um, $50 gift card that I purchased at Kroger. So I guess so my, that does bring my total to just $189.05. Okay, so as a little treat, I did purchase uh, Pete Reese's Peanut Butter Pumpkin. Uh, those were a dollar. Uh, if you bought two, you could get one free, but I didn't need three. And then the $50 MasterCard gift card. And the next thing we purchased is the another bag of the Purina Dog Chow. Uh, again, I did get the natural so that we can keep him on the same food. This time that was $12.99. Uh, didn't have any coupon for that this time. Um, we did buy some more paper plates. Uh, as I suspected and wondered with the paper plates that we purchased at Walmart, even though they said heavy duty, we don't like them. It's, everything soaks right through. These uh, are a 44 count and they were $6.29. Um, we did buy some more sliced cheese. It was on sale um, for $1.59. It's normally $2.69. Uh, they had Kraft, the same size package, two for six, which would make it $3 a piece. So Kroger cheese was about half that. So that's why we purchased Kroger. Um, next thing we purchased on my item, my grocery list, is Kroger Bran Flakes. Package of those. And the Bran Flakes were $2.29. We did purchase another pound of butter. It's $3.19. And this is something my son requested. He really enjoys tater tots and we found these mini ones that we like even better. Uh, those were $2.99. And then for dinner tonight I'm going to make chicken tortilla soup. It calls for frozen corn so I bought a package of that. They, uh, that all of their vegetables actually right now are 10 for 10, so this package of corn was a dollar. And then for breakfast for me and sometimes for a snack, um, I did purchase a box of multigrain Cheerios. And as you know, those all Cheerios are gluten free which is why I love Cheerios. That was $3.39. Um, you compare that to the Kroger brand flakes, it was a dollar more expensive. So, uh, do actually, yeah, dollar mo dollar ten more to get name brand. Okay, and then I did run out of my half gallon of half and half, so I did purchase another bottle. Uh, it was on sale as well. This size was a dollar ninety nine. Normally, two forty nine. Purchased a big bottle of Heinz ketchup. That was two ninety nine. Next thing on my receipt here uh, is more cat food. Really surprised that the full bag didn't last a whole month. Um, he eats quite a bit, but that was $3.99. It was $0.30 cents off, so normally $3.29. And we did purchase um, another 
dark chocolate bar. This time it was $2.69. It was not on sale anymore. Um, let me show that so you can see it a little better. It's a Lint Excellence. There you go. And this time we did get to 78%. Didn't care for the stronger one that we purchased last time. Okay, next thing that I purchased were some more of the, well they call them nutrition bars, but they're more like candy bars. But they do help when, uh, you know, I just need a quick snack. My son also enjoys them. Uh, they're 10 for 10. I got three Zone Perfects. Excuse me. Uh, I got three Zone Perfects and one Luna protein. And again, they were 10 for 10, so a dollar a piece. Next is I did find out that I am low on iron and anemic, so I purchased some more spinach. And this spinach, I didn't get the organic this time. It just doesn't last long enough. Uh, the spinach was $2.99. And then my husband saw these and he wanted to try them. Thought maybe the kids would enjoy them. Um, it's the new Fruit Loops with fruity shaped marshmallows. Also says it's an excellent source of iron, so I might eat and enjoy some of them as well. Uh, those Fruit Loops were $2.69. Uh, there was $0.60 cents savings, so normally $3.29. And there they are. Get them back in the picture. Next, um, the, something my grandson enjoys once in a while and extremely inexpensive. It's a 12 package of ramen noodles and those were $2.39. And then uh, we do like to make sure that we're stocked up on the vegetables we enjoy. So, and we enjoyed uh, some green beans this month a couple of times. So we did buy two four pack, two more four packs of those. Um, they were a dollar sixty nine a four pack. And then for the tortilla soup, uh, I did need some black beans. Now with these, these were the ones that were on sale. Let's see if I can get these picked up. They're hard to pick up in this packaging. Okay, there we go. Um, this time I did get the Simple Truth Organic. Uh, it is a four pack of cans. And that was $2.75. So as you can see, difference in brands um, being organic, it is more expensive. But it was less expensive than individual cans. Okay, and let's see. Next thing we purchased was uh, some Ritz crackers and just like with the saltines um, where we get the uh, unsalted tops on the saltines with the Ritz when they're available we get the hint of salt and that was $2.99 now this uh, next item is, uh, you know, again, so I can get some dark chocolate and because dark chocolate is a little bit higher in iron and it's a treat that I enjoy as well. It's the Brookside Dark Chocolate, uh, I think it's called Akai, A-C-A-I, blue and blueberry flavored and those were kind of expensive at ten dollars and ninety nine cents a piece or a bag it is a large bag it is uh, almost a pound and a half but still a little on the expensive side okay let me turn this one around next is that the ground beef that we purchased in august we are finally using up the last of that and um so we purchased a three pound package and that three pound package was 1047 
And one of the things I'm going to make this weekend is meatloaf. So I got a package of meatloaf seasoning. And the meatloaf seasoning was $2.49. Yeah, we also did purchase a bag of Ruffles sour cream and onion chips. And that package of chips, excuse me, that package of chips was $2.99, uh, but they were $1.30 off. So normally $4.29. Um, and then we did get another package of zebra cakes. My grandson's been enjoying those as a snack, after school snack, and they're $1.99. Next for the chicken tortilla soup, I purchased one jalapeno pepper. And they were 99 cents a pound, so one of them was nine cents. I think that's the least expensive thing I've ever bought at a grocery store in a long time. Okay, and um, then with the soup, I'm also going to be making tacos. We did get some shredded lettuce, and the lettuce was $1.79. We got some thick cut bologna. Or bologna normally a dollar ninety nine it was on sale for a dollar and that is a 12 ounce package and next we did get some eye drops and we got the visine allergy relief and I did get the twin pack because it was only a few more dollars than the single package and that way my husband and I can have our own bottle of drops and then my husband is begin does a drink beet juice, and it is a natural blood pressure. Low um, it naturally lowers your blood pressure, and we got just the Nudsons beet that he's been drinking, and the Nudsons is six ninety nine. But then we also found this one. Um, it's L&A Organic Beet and Apple Juice. And since the beet juice is a, has a real earthy flavor, you have, he has to mix it with something. Um, he's been mixing it with sugar-free Kool-Aid. But um, that, so we thought we'd try the beet and apple to see if he liked that a little bit better. Uh, that one was only $5.99, so if he likes it, we'll probably get that to save a dollar. And then, as you can see, one of them fell on the floor. <laughs> but we got two packages or two loaves of bunny bread. Uh, we do get the made with whole grain. I know it's not whole grain, but it has a little bit more texture than regular white bread. So uh, we like that a lot better. Uh, it's they were two forty nine a loaf. And then finally. At Kroger, the last thing we purchased was another package of sourdough bread. Sourdough bread is three was three forty nine, and it was a fifty cents off. So normally, four oh nine. And the last two items we purchased, and as I mentioned, we purchased them at Family Dollar with the fifty dollar gift card that we purchased. We got uh, a bottle of Downy, and then. A uh, small package of Pepsid at maximum strength acid controller. Uh, it's only eight tablets, but uh, it was at least enough to get us through hopefully the rest of the month. And let's see, those two items, as I mentioned, were $8.61. They came out of that $50 gift card. So, I'm not for sure what the total for this month so far is. But I will definitely put that down in the description box. Let me know what you think of the videos. Uh, if you like these types of videos, let me know. And I will continue to uh, post them for you and make them for you. And in the meantime, please comment, like, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Angie B. with Angie B's House. You have a great day.